Hey everyone, welcome to a quick and easy tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you a quick way to make uh, doors that you can open and close. So go into content, we're going to make a new folder called blueprints. Open this up and we're going to create a new actor from blueprint class. We will call this BP door. We can open it and we are going to replace the uh, default scene route with a scene, so just drag it over, it'll replace it. And we need to add two static meshes. One is the door frame, and the other is the door. So we're going to the static mesh, and we'll call this door. Now, door frame, we can just search for door frame. There's one that comes with the uh, starter content. So if you have starter content on, you'll get these. And in this one, we will just search for door. Uh, now the door's pivot point is on the left, so we will need to adjust it by changing this snap size to 5 and moving it over uh, 45 units. Uh, now before we continue, there's one more thing we have to do. With the starter content door, it doesn't have any collision uh, enabled. So double click on the static mesh right there. And we are going to go to collision, add box simplified collision. If you don't see anything, go to collision, check on simple collision. Um, and the only thing I want to change is the scale a bit, because I don't really care about um, these doorknobs. So we can go into top view, change it to unlit mode, and we can scale it down either um, by pressing R and scaling, but to get a more exact, I'm going to go into collision, primitives, boxes, open this up. And we can just set the X extent. I'm going to set it to 5. Press save. Uh, so now this mesh has a collision, so we can, won't be able to just walk through it. Now in the event graph, we can delete all of these and make a custom event called open door. Um, <clears throat> and we need one boolean called is door closed. This will default to true because it is closed. And we just want to ask if the door is closed. And if it is, we want to open the door. Uh, and if it's not, then we want to close the door. We're going to do this with a timeline. And we will call it uh, open door TL for timeline. So if the uh, uh, door is closed, we want to play this to open the door. And to close the door, we will reverse this. So open up the timeline. You want to adjust the length right here for how long it will take to open the door. I'm going to say half a second. Then we want to add a float track and name it alpha. Right click and add two keys. One, the time will be set to zero and the value will be set to zero. And this one, the time will be set to half a second and the value will be set to one. Press on these to uh, uh, fit it into the screen. You can click both and right click and choose key interpolation auto. This will make uh, for a smoother opening and closing. Uh, back in the event graph, we want to pull this over a bit and we're going to set this variable twice. One for the true, one for the false. So when it's opening, we want to set this to false and then when it's closing, we want to set this to true. Uh, now on update, we just want to get this door and set the rotation, so set relative rotation. Because what we want to do, if we click E to rotate, you can watch right here, or I'll just do it in right here. We want to rotate on the Z axis and open it 90 degrees. I'm going to set this back to zero for default. Back in the event graph, we will plug this into update. And out of here, we will make a rotator. This is because we only want to do it on the Z axis. So we're going to lerp the Z, which stands for linear, linear interpolate. Um, and that will uh, go from A to B based off um, an alpha, which will come from right here. A will be zero, B will be 90. So it can rotate 90 degrees. And that's it for the door. Now we just need a way to uh, actually uh, activate that custom event. Because right now we can walk into our door and nothing happens. So we want to open our first person character or third person character. This will work either way. 
First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to break this spawn projectile, just so we're not spawning projectiles, because I want to use, if we search input left mouse button, so if, basically if we click, I want to create a line trace by channel. And if it hits the door, we want to open or close it. Um, so for the start and the end, we want to grab our first person camera. If you're in third person, just grab the third person camera. And we want to get the world location and the forward vector. The world location will go into the start. The forward vector, we have to multiply by a float. This will be how long the line is, basically how far your reach is. I like 500. And then we have to add these two together, vector plus vector. And this goes into the end location. You can also set the draw debug type to for duration to see the line you're creating. Um, it'll go from your camera to this many units away from your camera. Um, so if we break the out hit and get the hit actor, we just have to cast to BP door. So we're basically saying if this hits the BP door, then we want to call the open door custom event that we created. Right before we test it, we're going to go into the viewport, grab our capsule component, and set the capsule radius to 34. This way we'll actually be able to fit through the door. It's a little too wide at the moment to be able to fit through. So now if we hit play, we can now click, and if it hits the door, it will open and close it. And the way we set it up is it doesn't even have to open all the way or close all the way. If we just kind of rapidly click, it'll go from the point um, that it's at when it uh, reverses. And we can now walk through, close it, obviously not walk through. And that is it. That's how you create a very simple opening and closing door. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider subscribing. We're currently uh, recreating Breath of the Wild in Unreal Engine 4. So you could join us on that journey or just find more quality, quick and easy tutorials. I'll see you there.